you so much. Uh, kicking off the interview, what are some of the key benefits of digitalizing the shipping yards? Yeah, today we could say like uh, digitalizing or you can say the technology in general, like in the ports and terminals, let's say. Like it's the brain, you can't say it's the control. So when you say like an example in shipping yard, so it doesn't mean like only in this specific area. So for sure, like the main uh, important things, an example in any like uh, terminals to increase the productivity, efficiency by enabling the technology. So the back to your question, an example, the key benefits, the key benefits, as I mentioned, like increasing the efficiency, increasing the productivity, like these are the key benefits. Also at the same time, an example, <coughs> the data we are getting today, an example, like by having these technologies, like the massive data, how to utilize these data. These are the key benefits. Okay, amazing. How does implementation of terminal operating systems um, can improve your operations? Yeah, uh, today we have our uh, own uh, cargo uh, solutions and our uh, cargo solutions. One uh, of the products is uh, TOS uh, Terminal Operating System, TOS Plus we call it. This is developed by our uh, uh, Zodiac team, which is uh, part of DP World. So uh, the implementation, yes, really like uh, we could say like uh, uh, in yard operation is like, uh, it's very important. So today, uh, let's say, our uh, product is almost more than 70% within uh, the group. And by uh, next two years maximum, we are going to cover it 100%. What types of uh, automation and robotics are used in the shipping yard industry? Yeah, in the uh, shipping yard uh, industry, like we have many kinds of uh, robotics. We have uh, IoT devices, an example, IoT like uh, today. We are using uh, an example like even a digital twin, which is part of our, uh, we can say, scope for the next years. Also, we have uh, autonomous vehicles, like automated uh, terminal operating system. By uh, an example, having uh, the advanced features today, we uh, automated many, many like of the processes. So one of the key processes, which is uh, like uh, robotics uh, process automation, uh, we have it. Um, how does remote monitoring and controlling contribute to the efficiency of safety um, at the shipping yards? Yeah, to be honest, this is a very important question. Like uh, uh, previously, uh, those guys, an example, like, uh, you know, they should be on the site. Now they are working remotely from different areas. So uh, remote monitoring and uh, an example like uh, getting the live data, taking the decision from one area really added like extra values and extra benefits for uh, the terminals. An example, one of the examples like uh, we have, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, CT3, Terminal 3 in Jabal Ali. And Terminal 3 is, you can say, it's uh, the most advanced uh, terminal in the region. So. The team, they are like far away from the operation side itself. And uh, most of uh, the, the team, like uh, the members of the team, they are like uh, women. And instead of uh, previously, like everybody should be on site, like on the crane side and on the yard. Now, like even in the future, they could work from uh, like a home, uh, like uh, remotely. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Um, what is the potential impact of blockchain technology on transparency um, and traceability of containers at the yard? Yeah, uh, the big benefit of uh, blockchain is uh, getting the data like immediately, like uh, all data are shared. So the biggest advantage will be on the processes and uh, uh, sharing data at the same time, uh, tracking uh, the containers, all these uh, like, uh, uh, these could add, uh, could be added like uh, extra values by uh, using the blockchain technology. How does the digitalization of shipping yards contribute to the overall efficiency and sustainability uh, in the industry? Uh, 
by digitalizing like uh, this word you can say like you noticed maybe uh, last few years many uh, of the terminals they had their own smart uh, ports um, uh, strategies etc and how to digitalize so the biggest benefit an example like it's removing like uh, the bureaucracy we had it in the like um, uh, in the terminals especially so merging many of the departments merging an example like uh, consolidating you can say like uh, many of the uh, departments also many of the technologies today uh, an example in dp world uh, let's say we have one product which is cargos so cargos under umbrella of the cargos like many other products so separated products but you know like they are integrated with each others understanding each others so the outcome and uh, the data we are uh, like facing comparing with the previously like uh, like really uh, like uh, uh, more utilized and like uh, got like more uh, uh, efficient and like uh, more productive uh, comparing uh, with before and um, what are your aspirations on how technology will be, you know, creating more opportunities for the industry? For uh, ports and terminals, uh, especially like the technology in ports and terminals, I believe like the smart infrastructure in the future. What is the smart infrastructure? Is uh, using IoT devices, using IoT technologies in, uh, um, in the ports and terminals. So the good thing is that we are beyond of that. So we already, you can't say, completed some areas like uh, in some uh, uh, some of the projects of a digital twin, and uh, already we started smart ports. And now we are talking about smart cities. An example: smart city is one of the smart cities. We already uh, one of the projects. Let's say we started. It's uh, in dry docks. Also Jabal Ali, Jabal Ali already uh, all the terminals they are using our cargo stos plus. They have, uh, the, uh, we are implementing the digital twin, not only within the yard, even outside of the yard, even an example, some warehouses. So in the future will be from Jabal Ali uh, port to uh, Dubai airport. So this is the target and the future. Many guys or many of the colleagues, they ask me, what are the benefits of digital twins and why digital twins? I told them it's not a trend. It's not like a blockchain, like, uh, uh, maybe will be resistance on some areas. Uh, digital twin, you know, it's uh, the foundation of uh, the smart ports. It's the foundation of the digital ports. Uh, it's the foundation of the smart cities even. By having like digital twin, so you can integrate it with metaverse in the future. You can, an example like uh, uh, monitor your uh, terminal like, like from country to country you can monitor your terminal by mobile as like C level especially. So yeah, this I what I wanted uh, to add it uh, like uh, the benefits of the digital twin, an example like, I don't know, maybe in the future, this what, even what I discussed with the team uh, recently, like we are not going to have uh, like a TOS or yard automation. Like if digital twin is implemented and developed very well. Where will be digital twin next five years? As I mentioned, digital twin is the foundation. So I believe like next five years, like the smart uh, ports especially, uh, the operation uh, team could work from home, like remotely. I think uh, COVID-19 was good lesson for us. And like we learned a lot from uh, COVID-19 especially. Uh, working from home was very difficult for the operation team but by having digital twin in the future, I think yes, it could be. And uh, today already we are integrating our, uh, you can say like we already started Metaverse uh, project. So our Metaverse is integrated with digital twin. You could see like the life uh, operation by like uh, Metaverse and like, uh, I believe we are the first terminal, even like uh, or the first uh, terminal operator in the world using like uh, metaverse uh, integrated by uh, with the digital twin and monitoring at the same time like the live operation